One common task Exchange Administrators perform is moving mailboxes. Now we may need to move mailboxes to another mailbox database on the same Exchange server, to another mailbox database on another Exchange server, or to a mailbox database on a completely different Exchange server in a completely different organization. In 2013, we can move mailboxes one at a time, or we can create a migration batch to move multiple mailboxes at one time. In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at moving an individual mailbox and how to configure and monitor migration batches as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move April. April is currently on mailbox database one. April's moved job and she's now moved into the research department. So what we'll do is we'll highlight April. Scroll down. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for move mailbox to another database. What we're going to do here is we're just going to call this April move mailbox. And what we're going to do here is we're going to move the primary and we're going to move April to research. So we'll browse through here, click on research, click OK. Select our next button and we're going to run this as the administrator. So we'll select new at this point here. What we'll do is we'll go to our migration tab. And what we can see is we can see that we have April move mailbox. So this is currently syncing. In a few minutes when we click the refresh button, we should see this is completed. And indeed, April will be sitting on the research mailbox database. And so what we'll do is click our refresh button. Still syncing. So what we'll do is while we're waiting for this to sync through, we'll actually now create a batch migration. So what we'll do is on our migration tab, we'll just select new and we'll move to a different database. And I want to move everybody on Mailbox Database 1 through to research. So what we'll do here is we'll just click our plus button. And then what we'll do is wait for the list to be refreshed. And what we want to do is just get it so we can see Mailbox Database 1 up at the top. Highlight the first user. Scroll this down to find the last user. And then what we'll do when we get to the end of the list, we'll just highlight the last user by using the shift key. There's our last user. Select shift. Select our add button. And then we'll select OK. Right, now we've done this, we'll just select our next button. We'll give it a, a batch name. So we'll just call move database one to research. Click our browse button, highlight our research database and select OK, and then select next. Run this as administrator and select new. And then as we can see now, we're now syncing 193 users from research off to research from mailbox database one. Now this will take a little while, so we'll just leave this running. So one of the other nice little things we've got here as well is if we just highlight and move the, the database one to research, if I click on the view details button, what it does is brings up another screen. We can see we still have quite a few of these things queued up here, but if I scroll down a little bit, we can actually see that we're now validating some of these users. And one of the other nice little things we can do as well is we can click on the report so we can download the report of this user as well. Click on the more details. It just gives us some information about what's currently happening. Now we're not going to sit and watch this. We'll take it as read that it will actually move these mailboxes across. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.